Right, Bonneville T120, there's been a recall, apparently uh, there's a possibility of a fuel leak on them and so I've taken mine in today to have the new harness fitted and uh, I've borrowed this <laughs> the Triumph Speed Triple R uh, nice bike, very nice indeed I rode one of these back in about 2014-2015 but from what I can see I've had a look on Triumph's website and this is basically a completely new bike uh, the engines had so many things done to it it's basically a new engine uh, supposed to be slimmer delivers more power and uh, yes yeah, it's, it's not a bad bike at all riding position took a little bit of getting used to after the Bonneville getting the feet up and back a bit but uh, now I, it's really good really fun to ride I must admit and very well put together really good quality items uh, I mean the brakes you've got Brembo brakes you've got Olin's rear shocker Olin's front forks arrow arrow cans these are nice the little LED indicators uh, yeah it's really uh, really a smart bike really nice to ride single sided swing arm I know the main improvement that I've noticed is the ride by wire throttle uh, when I rode the old one uh, that was the one thing that I commented on that it could do with the, the ride by wire really smooth really good and now of course that they've got this on they've uh, you can get all kinds of different riding modes on the thing so I believe there's five different riding modes there's road there's rain there's sport there's track and then there's one that's uh, adjustable by the owner you can alter all the settings for the traction control and ABS basically it's set of power you want it set up uh, it's very simple there's, you know this control wise you've got next to nothing you've just got the kill switch which uh, personally I keep well well clear of uh, yep you've got the uh, button for starting it you've got your hazard flashes on that side then over here you've got daylight running lights uh, uh, low beam uh, the high beam is around the back there and then you've got your information indicators and your mode button really really oh it's a stunning looking bike to, to be honest I think uh, it does look well so uh, all the bits and pieces I don't really know what to let this car go past or Land Rover you always try to find somewhere out of the way where you're not going to get disturbed by traffic but you always do you always get the odd one yeah it's not a bad day actually for riding late November we've had a lot of rain recently so it's washed all the grit and the salt off the roads so you've just got to be careful of all the leaf mush uh, unfortunately I've just ridden through a minor flood uh, after all the rain it's water's running off the hills and it's uh, down there on the main road just below Eam it, uh, it's absolutely just a torrent running down the road so I'm afraid it's got a little bit dirtier than when I borrowed it yeah really nice machine looks like I don't know whether these come as standard I don't know whether they're these like uh, crash protectors couldn't say whether they're standard or not or whether they're an added, you know a fitment it was certainly a good idea and they don't look uh, obtrusive you know like a set of crash bars you've got I suppose on the R you get the other trick bits of course you've got the carbon fiber uh, front mud guard and uh, 
Oh, so again, carbon fibre protectors here on the tank. The bar end mirrors are good. You can actually see behind you. No vibration, good clear reflection in those. Yeah. Looks like it's got a tail tidy, which uh, obviously doesn't stop a great deal of mess flirting up here <laughs> all over the back of the bike. Right then. Uh, can't think of a great deal more to tell you. Uh, I haven't ridden it a lot yet. I've only done about 10 miles on it. No, no go for a spin round. I've just put some fuel in it. And uh, so yeah. the brakes are very good. The the Brembos, I'll say that for them. They they really are sharp. They really pull you up. But but they're not sharp in a sense that you know you get a, a sudden wheel locker out like that. Not that you're going to do because it's fitted with ABS. But uh, suspension's very good, soaks up the bumps well. Uh, I'm surprised actually that they haven't fitted the uh, semi-active suspension like they've done on the Explorer. So you could set that up for sport or whatever. Might be a, another <coughs> move for them in the future, I don't know. But I certainly think it looks a smart bike. I love those high-level exhausts. And those arrow cans sound absolutely glorious. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to go and have a ride round. And I'm going to record a few shots using my new helmet cam. Which, I've, it's the first time I've ever used it. So whether there are any shots of me riding round or not, you'll have to wait and see because I don't know how good it's going to be. Uh, but uh, see how we get on with this new camera anyway uh, the Cena prism tube so uh, hopefully you'll uh, might be able to I've got be able, might be able to make a few comments while I'm riding see ya okay this is the new Cena tube or Cena prism tube uh, just want to see what things work out like with this. Okay then, uh, I'm on the new Speed Triple R, and I've got it in, in road mode. Uh, right, I'm, I'm going to have to go this way anyway, whether I want to or not. I've got my visor up at the moment, so I don't know how much it affects uh, the microphones affected by wind noise. The beauty of this camera is it comes with a separate earpiece, a speaker, and a microphone, helmet mounted microphone, which you fasten inside your helmet. I'll put my visor down. And uh, you put the earpiece inside your helmet, and there's a, a very neat little harness that plugs together. And it means that uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear my comments. And <laughs> we might not suffer quite so much from wind noise. You probably only hear what I can hear, which it sounds quite blustery to me, although it isn't. The problem is, once you get over about 25 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour, you're going to get wind noise anyway. Most of these helmet cams are designed for mountain bikers. Well, you're not going to get a fat lot of wind noise on a mountain bike, are you? This camera, as it says, is a tube, so it's, it's designed specifically for motorcycles. I'm up on Longston Edge at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's designed specifically for motorcycles, so it's a lovely uh, 
neat fit to the side of your helmet it's not obtrusive and it's got a special helmet clamp you don't have to glue anything onto your helmet it just clamps onto the shell and uh, set it up it's only got one control on it there's no you know it's not like it's not really fancy it only costs 100 quid uh, so it don't take photos and it doesn't it's not Wi-Fi and it's not fancy thing but it's a video camera that's it and it only shoots at 1080 you can't there's no other setting apparently you get about two hours recording time out of it and it's just got one con one but well, I think it's even a button it's a slide switch like a, a collar that you slide forward to turn it on and off and you turn it on it starts recording you turn it off it stops recording it's as simple as that but the beauty the other nice thing about it is the uh, the speaker that you put inside your helmet it gives you voice prompts there's a lovely lady with an American accent who tells you that camera on recording camera off it's great none of this trying to listen for beeps you know and wondering am I actually recording this or not you know when you get home and you download or you download or try to download your footage and discover that the bloody camera weren't turned on I'm assuming as well it's going to tell me when the battery gets low before it turns itself off which would be useful must admit this is not really the uh, kind of roads to be coming down on one of these sports type bike but it's coping with it very well the humps and the bumps the suspension soaking everything up beautifully yes she uh, she certainly uh, gets off the mark when you want her to I mean obviously I'm not going crackers being a silly old sod I just like to take my time most of the time I, I have my moments I've got to take it a bit careful on this because <laughs> hey it's not my bike and if I do have an accident I've got the first grand to cough up and uh, B apparently it's just had a new front tire on and it's not been worn in properly yet but it's a lovely machine it really is I don't think I've ridden a Triumph that hasn't been a lovely machine to be honest apart from that uh, well now I'm being a bit too critical I was going to say apart from the new Explorer as a bike it's still a damn good bike I just didn't like it as much as my old Explorer There's just something about it, it everything seemed cheaper to me I mean you can't say that on this they're all top quality bits and pieces and they all work together well this engine's really smooth that's I just thought of something I left the indicators on earlier on my old Explorer you could set them up to be self cancelling or not I don't know whether you can on these <coughs> yes that's a beautiful sound coming from those uh, arrow cans a lovely burble with a bit of a whistle mixed in my god ooh that don't half go
this throttle is so smooth but I'm taking it steady up here because uh, oh here we are sludgy crap ideal if you want to finish up in a heap on the ground good god look at the mess Oh, class one. If I could see what were coming. We're round. Not to worry. We're round. Oh, Christ, it don't half go when you pull that throttle on. Whew. It's a good job, brakes are bloody good. Gearbox is nice and smooth. Clutch is good as well. I am surprised that they haven't put a hydraulic clutch on it. That I always thought that was a really good clutch on the Explorer. Took no effort whatsoever. And being a lazy person. <laughs> the suspension is good, very good in fact. It handles well. And it's uh, I expected, you know, when you hit a, a lump or a bump or a hole or something, I expected it to really jar you up through your back, but now it's uh, doesn't at all. It's a very smooth, comfortable ride. Here goes. Oh my god it shifts. The only problem is hanging on. I thought it was gonna rip my head off my shoulders then. That front end doesn't feel like when you accelerate. Well, I can uh, safely say I'm really impressed with this. The old uh, Speed Triple R. I enjoyed the older one I rode. I thought that were a nice bike, but this is better. <laughs> 